While the whole brain normally participates in communication, most of what we think of as language depends on the left side of our brains. The area for language on the left side is more densely wired and even structured differently than the same area on the right. In 1861, Paul Broca discovered the left hemisphere's role in language. This brain changed the course of neuroscience. It belonged to a stroke patient nicknamed Ta. He was given that name because Ta was all he could say. After Ta died, Paul Broca examined his brain. Because Ta could not speak, Broca concluded the damaged part of the left hemisphere was responsible for language. It's now called Broca's area. Ta's brain was recently rediscovered in a Paris museum. Scientists x-rayed it with a CAT scan. The black area in the left hemisphere is where the damage occurred. We now know that Broca was largely right. Damage to Broca's area does disrupt language. 